for joining me and good morning. Just going to go through a short but sweet morning flow to get some movement in the body and to set a nice stage for the day. So often it doesn't take that much, but bringing our intention and awareness to our breath, to our body, can be such a sweet way to begin. So we set that anchor in the morning of centering, of alignment, of just being present with ourselves. And it helps us find that throughout the day, whenever we begin. So we're kind of laying down that pattern, laying down those tracks so we can find them when life begins to happen. So close your eyes down to begin or let your eyes be heavy, whatever feels more comfortable. And notice your breath without needing to change it or fix it or manage it, just noticing. Noticing the natural breath. This is called Anapada Sati, which is a really fun word to say. And it is just an observation. You may notice that when you observe, you have a tendency towards wanting to do it right or wanting to shift something. But see if you can Catch yourself doing that and really just watch whatever is happening with no judgment or no management. Maybe you notice that the breath is deep or the breath is shallow. Once more, tracing it in with your awareness, letting it fully release. And then this time, actively take a big inhale, hold it at the top, hold your breath for just a moment at the top, and then exhale out the mouth. Twice more like this. Inhale through the nose, hold it at the top. And then exhale audibly through the mouth. Ha. Once more like this. And hold. And audibly out. Maybe with a little shake of the torso. Hands to heart center. And let's begin to move and breathe. Inhale, the arms lift up. Gaze follows and exhale, hands pull down to heart center. Have a little bit of resistance there, hands really active into one another. Twice more, inhale, lift, and exhale, press, press, press as you bring hands to heart center. And once more, inhale, lift up, and exhale, hands to heart center. Once more, this time lift the arms up, but bend the left arm, take the right hand, take the left elbow in the right hand, and we're gonna shift the left side body over towards the left as we reach over towards the right. So engage the belly so you can stay a bit balanced here. Continue to push the left side body over towards the left, and then release the right hand down and take this even deeper. Spiral the heart open, kind of lean back into your top arm. And exhale, lean over towards the right, a little bit more big side body stretch. And then reach the left arm out long. Inhale, come all the way up. And we're gonna take a twist towards the left. So the left hand will actually come behind the back. The right hand comes to the outside of the leg. Maybe gazing over the left shoulder, breathing. Leave the right hand where it is. As you turn back towards center, bring the left arm above. So the arms are crossed. Take the chin to the chest, stretching the back of the body, the back of the neck. Maybe shake the head no. 
Notice where you feel this. I can feel this pulling all the way into my QLs, into my low back. Gaze begins to lift, heart lifts. Arms are going to cross into eagle arms. So the backs of the hands can touch, the fronts of the, the palms can touch, or you could grab um, shoulders. That's what they're called. Cat cow in the back. Inhale, lift up. Gaze up, open throat. Exhale, curl in, curl down. Twice more like this. Inhale, lift and open. And exhale, curl in, down. Once more, inhale, lift and open. Exhale, curl and down. Then inhale, unwind the arms and they come all the way up. Lift, reach, reach, reach. And then we switch sides. So the right hand comes behind. So the elbow comes up, grab it with the left. Shift the ribs over towards the right side of the mat and lean over towards the left. It's a lot of left, right, left, right. Just do the same thing on the opposite side. Don't let me confuse you. You can press your head back into your arm a little bit. See if you can get that um, connection. Spiral the heart open. And release the left hand down to the mat, maybe even coming to the elbow. And then reaching even more over as you open up the right side body. You can continue to think about spiraling the whole rib cage up towards the sky. And next inhale, begin to lift. And we'll take a twist towards the right. Right hand behind, left hand to the right thigh, twisting around. Press down through the sit bones, lift up through the crown of the head. Kind of wringing out anything you need to wring out. And leave the left hand where it is, right arm comes over. Chin can go to chest and just hang the head. Let it be heavy for a couple rounds of breath. Noticing sensation. And begin to lift up eagle arms, whether that's grabbing shoulders, backs of the hands, palms, and we move with breath. Inhale up and open. And exhale, curl in twice more with your own breath. This inhale, wings go wide. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands, heart center. We're going to roll over the knees, plant the hands. Move with the block or bolster if you were using one maybe towards the top of the mat, you may want them. And we're coming into tabletop position. Have soft elbows here, rolling the shoulders back. So just focusing on the shoulders here. So rolling them down and back, and then try to roll them the other way. That might feel a bit strange, but bringing the awareness there. Gaze down at your fingers as you do this and really press them down into the mat. I just realized mine were lifted, so I was dumping into my wrists. So especially if you have wrist pain, uh, pain really focus on getting the weight into the fingers. All right, now bringing the awareness to the hips and even more precisely to the tailbone. And imagine, this might sound like a weird analogy, that you had like a marker for a tailbone and you were going to draw something, you were gonna draw circles on the invisible board behind your bum. But focusing and initiating the movement from the tailbone. So going one side and then going the other. Maybe you draw a heart. And really, we're just looking to shift our awareness to, to different places, building some connections here. Excellent. Tuck the toes. Press down through the fingers. And lift the knees just slightly. Send the heels towards the back of the mat. Same with the tailbone. Begin to push into the ground. The tailbone goes back, 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 and up. And the heels begin to get heavy. So we're in a really 
um, kind of lackadaisical downward dog. The knees stay bent. We're pushing into the hands. And then you can lift the heels really high and then bring them down. And then maybe go back and forth, left heel to right heel. And then we're gonna walk up towards the top of the mat into ragdoll. So feet are wide, grab opposite elbows. You can also interlace the hands behind the neck if you'd like that, that adds a little bit of extra traction in the neck. Knees are soft, sway side to side. All right, left hand comes down to the ground. It can also come to a block, listen up. The left knee is gonna bend really deeply. And the right hand, we're gonna pull back, like you're pulling back on a bow. And we're gonna to twist towards the right. Roll both of the shoulders back, as if you can imagine where your uh, scapula are, um, and bring them together, your shoulder blades on your back. This bottom shoulder likes to move in and up, but see if you can roll it back to leave space for your neck. Beautiful. We're gonna stay twisted here. Take a big step back with your left foot. So we're in a low lunge. The knee can be up or down to begin, wherever you'd like to be. Press invisibly into the right hand, like as if there was a wall there, is what I mean to say, invisible wall, to twist even more. And then bring the left knee down if it's not already. We're gonna come up and back, exalted warrior. And let the hips be heavy, but actively pull back on the right hip. And also actively lengthen the tailbone down. I immediately feel that more into my um, hip flexors and quad. Steady breath. One more inhale. And exhale, come back towards the top of the mat. Big step up, left foot meets the right ragdoll. Find a bit of bounce here, a bit of sway. And we go to the other side. So the right hand finds the block or the floor right under your gaze. Deep bend in the right leg. We're gonna begin to twist open to the left. Roll both the shoulders down and back, lengthen the neck. All right, big step back with the right foot. Back of the mat. You can be up or down. Pulling back on the left hip crease, pushing into an invisible wall with the left hand. And the back knee plants. Begin to press down through the front foot as you lift the torso up, exalted warrior here. Lengthen the tailbone down. Might help you feel it in hip flexor, psoas area. Whew. Steady breath. One more big inhale and exhale. Come back to the top of the mat, ragdoll. Press so much into the feet that the torso begins to lift up as a byproduct. Take several rounds of breath to get there. And when you begin to feel something that, that a little bit of a good hurt, then stay. I can feel when I sway, there's certain spots where I'm like, oof. So stay there for a bit longer and maybe add some vibration. This is um, supporting the fascia to release. And fascia is like this 3D web that keeps us together essentially. This is casing all throughout our body and it can get adhesed in certain areas. And um, giving that space and that freedom really gives us movement, space, and freedom, just like I said. <laughs> Bring the feet together. Press down through the feet. So really noticing your connection with the ground there. And notice that when you press down, you have space to lift up. So pressing down actually lengthens the spine. Imagine the crown of the head lifting up. Maybe lengthening the tailbone down just slightly and seeing how that feels in the body. We have different uh, tilts of the pelvis, so sometimes we'll need to go a little bit one way or a little bit more the other way. So maybe play with the tilt of your pelvis to see what feels supportive and stable. 
And inhale, arms come up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, arms come up. And then bend the right elbow. Take the, just like we did in the beginning, take the left hand and the right elbow and then step off the side of the left, um, step behind the left mat, off the side of the mat. Take this big side body stretch. We've already been here. Find some buoyancy in the legs. So bending the knees a little bit. One more inhale, open the heart. And then exhale, curtsy pose. Heart goes forward, hips go back, yeah? Begin to gaze down. The right hand plants, the right foot steps all the way to the back of the mat and we're in a twisted lunge. We're gonna press down through the left foot to lift all the way up into an exalted warrior. You can bend the back knee just slightly, lengthen the tailbone down so you might get some opening in the front again. And then we're gonna take a twist. So begin to come down, right elbow hooks around the left outer thigh. Elbow and the leg press one into another and allows you to twist a little bit deeper. Lengthen the neck, crown of the head towards the top of the mat. One big inhale. And exhale, plant the hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. Pedaling out. Inhale, wave forward plank pose. And exhale, come all the way down to the ground. You can bring the knees down first, or maybe you come all the way down in one line, your choice. And then three rounds of cobra. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, press down through the pubic bone to lift up the chest. And exhale, release twice more like this. And you can go anywhere you'd like. You can come into low cobra. You can press down into the hands, come into high cobra. You can also come into up dog as well. And release once more your version, heart opener. Inhale, lift the heart. Imagine you could pull it forward. And exhale, release. We need a downward dog. Tuck the toes, you can push through the knees, hips go up and back. Gaze towards the hands. You can step or you could take a hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. The hands can be on the shins. Exhale, fold. Let's do that twice more with a halfway lift. Another option, you can take the hands to blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Once more. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold it down. Bend the knees. Again, we're gonna roll up really slow. The feet can be together or they can be separate. Probably have a little bit more balance if they're a bit separate. Breath and movement here as you come up. Maybe a few rolls of the shoulder. Just a moment to explore. Let's go to the other side. So inhale, lift the arms up. This time we're gonna grab the left elbow as the left foot steps off the side of the mat. Buoyancy in the legs and Big side body. Oof, it feels good. Send a big breath to big sensation. One more inhale. Bend the knees, exhale, curtsy pose. Hips go back, heart, crown of the head goes forward. Pull back on the right hip crease. Yes. Gaze down, left hand comes down, left foot steps to the back of the mat as you twist open, revolve lunge. Hand pressing into the invisible wall here, pull back on the right hip crease. And then begin to press down through the front foot. We're gonna lift all the way up, exalted warrior. You can bend this back knee, lengthen tailbone down just slightly if you want a little bit more in the front of the hip flexor. Maybe sink the hips a little bit and then pull the heart forward as the hand reaches back. Exhale, twisted lunge. So we're gonna take the left elbow outside of the right knee, press them one into another. That's gonna give you the space and ability to open. Hands 
coming towards the sternum. One more big inhale. And exhale, gaze down, hands plant, downward facing dog. <sighs> inhale, wave forward, plank pose, your choice. Exhale, however you wanna get there, coming down towards the ground, towards the earth. Inhale, one breath, high, low cobra, or upward facing dog. And exhale, release, tuck the toes. Press back, downward facing dog. Gaze forward, step or jump towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, one breath. And exhale, sink the hips down. So the hips are towards the heels. And if you have your blocks handy, you can use them here on the side. You can also take the hands to heart center. I'm just going to have a little balance here for a moment. Tailbone lengthening down, crown of the head lengthening up, finding space. Another point of connection can be the thumbs into the sternum, the sternum back into the thumbs, and squeeze the thighs together. One more breath in. And slowly release as the hips get heavy and come back. Come all the way down onto the back. If you have a block up top, bring it down with you. We're gonna come into a supported bridge because it's one of my favorite poses. Take your block and place it on the sacrum, not on the low back. So it's gonna be on the flat, the flat part of the low back, the flat bony part of the low back. Oof, so good. So if anyone has um, some SI issues, I do. This is just the bee's knees. If you would like to take a bridge without the block, you can do that as well. Take a hand, if you're on a supported bridge, maybe take a hand to the heart, a hand to the belly. Noticing the breath, maybe coming back to the Anapadasati of just observing, not changing it, but just noticing, is, it, is my heart beating faster now? Is my breath a bit quicker? Can you slow it down, make it smooth? Don't slow it down yet, you're just observing. I got carried away, just watching. And slowly take the block out and then roll down. Bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side. And then we're gonna take the hands behind the knees and roll back and forth about three times, just getting a little, I'm getting a little bit of a adjustment on my back by doing that. And we're gonna roll up to a seat. You're also welcome to take Shavasana. I probably should have said that first. But oftentimes in the mornings, I um, don't always take a Shavasana in the morning. Sometimes I'll take a seated meditation or just a seated check-in. And that is completely up to you, your choice. So whatever you'd like to be, we're just going to take about five rounds of breath. If you'd like to take a short Shavasana or if you'd like to take a seat, you can do that as well. And maybe take the hands palm up. This is this gesture of receiving, like what you got from me today, day. <laughs> or maybe you take the palms down, see how this feels energetically. Maybe it's like, I'm gonna be, wanna be solid and rooted today and you know, staying in my, in my values or my intention. So different ways that we can utilize these hand positions and notice how they even really feel different quite different. Three rounds of breath, slow, steady, simple. And thank yourself for showing up for you. This is an important practice. 
for ourselves, for those around us, so we can meet the world with more presence. Meet ourselves with more presence and meet each other with more presence. Hands together, thumbs of the third eye. Let's bow forward together and say namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you like this video, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed, do that as well. It helps get these videos out to more people, which really is helping share the yoga medicine. Um, if you're interested in practicing live with me on live stream or live in person, head over to my website, coldchanceyoga.com. I've got lots of trainings, retreats, um, different Lots of, lots of different options, always creating. So blessed to get to do this work. Love to get to share it with you. And I'll see you next time on your mat.